everybody it's a simple electronics dude here what I have for you is a uh, simple um, audio op amp hosted around the LM386 microchip a um, little background of me I have no degree or training in electronics I just love work with electronics I can read schematics it took me a while to learn but I learned it myself but I what I did for me to help me learn is I took the schematics and I put them on a grid paper and I drew them out as if it was on a solderless breadboard helps me and hopefully helps you also you can take off the one bracket so it's one five five one the reason being is because radio sack sells these uh, great little perf boards and circuit boards so if you want to make it permanent just solder them on you have your one row here one row there and then just follow the schematics and bam you got yourself a soldered component so what I have it for you like I said is the op amp so I'm gonna go through how to putting it together okay the parts you need are of course the LM386 you need a 220 uh, electric lit capacitor now most electric lit capacitors will have a long lead and a short lead so it's like an LED um, however I cut them because it makes it more easy to put them on the board now, but on the uh, capacitors, you're going to see a nice little strip. One is, the strip means negative, ground, whatever your terminology. The next electrical capacitor you're going to need is the uh, 10, 10 UF. Then you're going to need um, a 0 0.01 um, ceramic capacitor. As most schematics call for the 0 0.01. I use a 0 0.013. To me, it sounds a little better. And, of course, you're going to need an audio cord and a uh, speaker this is from a car so i went to the junkyard and they were selling them for about three bucks so i bought one all right so let's follow the schematics and let's build it okay let's start with the uh, lm 3d6 chip i forgot to mention about the chip every microcontroller has a little uh, divot or circle or knob in the front meaning that is the front of the uh, 3d6 chip meaning this is pin one and this is pin eight so let's put it on the board. Okay, so uh, next let's go to pin one. Pin one says it's the um, positive side of the 10 UF, so that's negative, it's positive. So it goes from positive from here is pin eight. Now what the uh, pin one and pin eight, those are your boost. You don't need this, but if you wanna boost your uh, audio, go ahead. Okay, let's go to uh, pin two. Pin two goes from here, goes to this ground. So let's get a little lead going. Pin two to ground. Pin three says you take the 0 0.013 or 0 0.01, whatever one you want to use. And now these are not polarity. There's positive, negative, doesn't matter. It goes to empty row and goes to pin three. And then pin four says it's on ground. So we'll take it four. Four is the ground. Now pin five says the positive side, so it's not that side. To pin five, goes to a blank spot on the board. Now I'm spacing it out because you'll see why. You'll see why later. Okay, then pin six is your positive. So let's get some power. Pin seven is bleh. Pin eight we already have. Okay. Now let's just connect the battery. Let's do positive over there. Or sorry, negative, positive, bleh. Let's get our speaker. Speaker says it's speaker goes to ground and then here, so ground's over here. goes to here. All right. And then we need our 
audio jack. So audio jack goes from ground, and then it goes to the 0 0.01 by 0 0.013. And let's turn on the power. So you hear the hear that? Now, what I have found out about the Elm 386, if you have really long leads or not like grounded or whatever, it can spark. Not like spark, but it can uh, make interesting noises. So let's get let's get the music. See what I mean? So anyway, this is what I mean by the uh, microphone capacitor. I'm going to pull it out, and you're going to hear a sound. Okay. Can you hear that? Now we put it on to the boost. Okay. See? See? As a little boost. Okay, so now. Uh, what I found out is that sometimes if you try to boost it really loud, it has a real scratchy noise. So what I did, I put this pin to ground, and I take my LED, so I take the LED, put the longer lead, which is positive, I get mixed with the cathode, and I know I'm going to say positive and negative. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. Take the, take the positive or longer lead to the pin 5. Go to ground. Now it should turn on. Now it's really bright, so I'm going to cover it with a little electrical tape. And hopefully you can actually see it bounce with the, uh, with the music. Yeah, uh, bounce it with the light. Awesome. So anyway, this is how I do like noise reduction. Now All right, so this is the very simple LM3D6 op amp. Um, I'll put the grid paper or, or <laughs> my schematics on uh, online. And uh, next video, I'll probably do a uh, uh, potentiometer on there. Very simple. So you can actually control the volume, not just on your on your phone or your MP3, whatever you have. You can control it with a um, potentiometer. All right, this is uh, simple electronics, dude.